Hello everyone. We're uh we're doing something a little different tonight. Uh, as you can see, obviously if you're looking at the stream, there is something uh, written there called the developer takeover. Tonight, I uh, basically the developer of a game called Black Ice contacted me and said, uh, "You're gonna play this game and you're gonna let me talk to you." <laughs> uh, so here he is, everyone. Uh, Garrett Cooper, the developer of Black Ice, go ahead and uh, say hi to everyone. Hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> I was trying to think of uh, just a little funny thing to say there for the intro. I like that you implied I gave you no choice. In the <laughs> well, I mean, the stream is called the Developer Takeover, so. Whew. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, unmute the game here. And flip this over. Let the uh, stream load up the game real quick. There it is. Now, this, this new menu, uh, I believe you were just telling me uh, James Metkiss did this. Yes, he did. Awesome. I am super in love with that, especially like the glitched out uh, <laughs> black ice. And I think the skull in the background glitches out a little bit too there. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's the same guy that did the logo. Okay. Uh, you had directed me to make okay. a character TRSCP. You were actually on point seven. Oh, what? Yeah, so you have the old in-dev version. Of oh, no. The new one. Here, well, uh, let me, uh, let's just reload the game real quick here, then. I've got it, y'all. Here we go. Uh, I will try to open it up again here. Little technical difficulties. We're good. We're good. 0 0.8? Yeah, 0 0.8.002. Okay, see, oops, wrong screen there, sorry. The last time, uh, I, I guess I just heard you say the zero, or the zero two at the end. It's like, oh, 202, I got it. <laughs> it should have been more specific, yeah. Ah, you're good. So we've got uh, our character TRSCP, level zero. And we're going to hop into a multiplayer match. Is that uh, what you're wanting there? Yeah, absolutely. You might want to hand me the password that you're going to use. Okay, uh, I will create a... Um, Custom uh, quick game? No. Yeah. Create custom. Yeah, and then maybe we can open it up so that the audience can come in. So I'm not. Yo, I mean later on, not right away. Okay, I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see too much. It looked really clean. Uh, we will just name it that. And uh, well, shoot, I gotta hide the password now. <laughs> it should show up as stars. No, it's not going to show up as stars. No, nope, I just I just covered it up. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you want me to have a specific server size and or difficulty? Yeah, uh, difficulty definitely zero since we're starting new character. Okay, and we'll just we'll just leave it at default five then. So I have launched the game here. I keep clicking the wrong screen. Let me tab out real quick, and I will send you the uh, the password here. There you go. And uh, first off, what the heck? Okay, is this you? A slash dev. That must be you. You disappeared on me. Oh, okay. my gosh. So the reason I wanted you to change your name to TRSCP is because, and I know you can't see this, but you're orange on my screen. Oh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh that's so good um now I, I did have a list of questions here we will get to those in a bit but first let me just look around oh my god uh, the last time i played this game was in fact here on the stream that was back in december you've changed quite a bit here we've got th these buildings are angled there's there's stuff up there there's ramps here um uh, i don't i'm not sure what this green box is i see a little doorway Oh, and I see some fog down there. Is that bad? <laughs> uh, it doesn't kill you, but it does react to light. It does react to light. So like oh, you know, yeah! Style, or, yeah! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to so, run around here a little bit. One of the big things is that I added double jumping and mantling. So, like, check this out. Like, come toward me here and then, like, double jump on space. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. So we can... We can we can kind of you maneuver. Can grab ledges and jump up. Yeah. 
That is a sick little animation there. Now, is that a... Do I have to hit spacebar three times, or does it just kind of grab? Uh, you don't have to hold spacebar, and you can actually do it in any direction, but, you know, you have... It has to be relatively low unless you get a higher jump. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to do something here real quick. Real quick. Turn this down. I'm just going to turn you up here a little bit. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Yeah, uh, actually, chat, how's the sound level? I think we could do a little bit louder on your end. High threat. I'm going to just stare at this building that's flashing high threat at me. That's awesome. Oh, oh. Human hacker. Look at all these buildings, though. I'm just... I, I'm going to walk around here. Uh, if you want to uh, boost your mic up just a little bit, or, or a lot bit, and then I'll okay, just fix see. it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just going to kind of wander around and marvel at buildings here. This is all so new to me. And there's levels. Okay, how about this? There we go. Okay, let me just, uh, I got you. Cool, cool, cool. Should be good, should be good now. So, I, I'm noticing that this isn't flat anymore. <laughs> yeah, so that's the big thing. So, the reason that it's switched over from procedural to uh, non-procedural is so that I could do this sort of, like, a different terrain and actually have like a fun play space to play in. oh yeah you can i mean you can kind of program in a little more accurately what you want i guess um that's how i'm seeing that look at that right because before in order to make the ai understand how to go around this sort of thing in a procedural world they had to be able to like understand anything at any time and it was just like that could be oh. a lot of steps <laughs> right right and oh. so i just wasn't up to it, so I switched off procedural, which means I can use the Unity's nav mesh thing. Oh, you're going for the the haste up. I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, pick it up. It's a power up. Oh, oh. I feel faster now. Is that is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Is faster? Yeah, so your movement speed and actually your attack speed as of this in-dev patch is uh, even faster. Wow. Yeah, I am blasting like, like the dickens here. I am inside of a thing. Am I oh, hey, Scott Geeks in chat. How's it going? There's actually a uh, uh, there's a shop in the game that is sometimes named after Scottish Geeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw he uh, just uploaded a new video uh, today. Uh, I suppose it is just about bedtime, or past bedtime for you over there. <laughs> All right, don't pick that power up up. We'll come back here in a minute, because this is level 10. Oh, yep. I, I see we've got a little... Uh, timer over there in the bottom right corner of uh, how long we've got haste for right 2 a.m at the moment yeah i suppose that's about right yeah 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 six hours i i'm just trying to figure out how to uh okay so this is a made map is there uh is there actually a way to get out to this upper part yeah if we hack that indoor server there we can actually get out that back door okay because i did notice that there was that green like this sort of that green uh glassy doorway covering the back side there so we'd have to hack it in order for that doorway to open okay okay uh let me just go <laughs> let me go explore this corner here oh scottish geeks thanks for the uh for the follow there welcome to hype town <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, that's actually the tutorial area in there. Easy targets manufacturers. <laughs> well, uh, I say let's go ahead and uh, let's drop a hack on one of these things, huh? Yep, there we go. There I started go. it. Okay, so we got the little uh, little Jim Jams here trying to come after me. So, uh, in this room, I'm not seeing a hack. Oh, I suppose you're the one hacking it. Right. So, the hack radius on... Uh, let's see. It looks like... Is the hack radius, like, the size of this room? Then? Where are you going? So, on my screen, it's actually much smaller. 
apparently didn't have that set up for multiplayer because I didn't expect people to hack the tutorial in multiplayer. <laughs> oh yeah, I could I could uh, see that. Uh, I, just, I just picked up a scorcher. Oh, we got a new follower there again, Viking Blonde. Welcome. Uh, this okay. This inventory screen. I don't know how I didn't see this before, but it's the full screen now instead of just the corner. I do appreciate that. That looks kind of cool. Got some nice yeah. info there on the right. Yeah, it's going to be uh, more updated later as well. There's a couple of things that it's missing from the previous one. But we're working on. And I'm seeing left and right mouse button are outlined. And I think yeah. I heard you say something about I can only put certain items, or is that not in here yet? That's not in yet, but that is one of the things that I'm probably going to be doing for the next, um, uh, I guess not major patch, but semi-major patch, is I'm going to have some, like, you'll probably have, like, a dedicated icebreaker slot, and then you'll have two weapon slots, and then I'll be able to do weapon models as well. Ooh, that'll be fun. Uh, I kind of cheated. I knew about the little secret side path to get up to the top. Of, uh... <laughs> oh, did I tell you about that earlier? <laughs> yeah, the tutorial level. Yeah, I remember uh, you were streaming, and I remember seeing uh, seeing you do this one here. Nice, uh... yep, you got it there. All right, shall we get to it? Yeah, let's. Uh, what's this? Uh, what's this power up here, dude? This uh, little ice ball. That is the. Um, that's an XP gen. So grab it. Yeah, totally. Okay. <laughs> Thirty-nine XP. I obviously need to go visit the shop right away. Left click to shop. Oh, look at this beautiful green screen that you guys are staring at now. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Imagine name. it's a little, a little bright. Um. Oh, you just get a full face of that real quick. I, I don't personally have any credits enough to shop here. Oh, you want to see another secret here? We yes. Show the stream. Check this out. Oh, a little hideout right down here. You think, like, oh. back here, oh, there's nothing, but, like, what's over here? Sick! Oh, sick. You guys heard it here. Now you know. If you're playing on the in-dev. This is just on the in-dev, right? Uh, most of this is on the full version right now. But, okay, um, I've made some additional multiplayer enhancements uh, and some shop upgrades that um, are only on this version. I'm also a giant fan of this uh double jump by the way just want to point that out real quick <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you yeah and uh you can actually get a triple jump later uh, if you find any type. Ooh. one day i will finish this uh slide puzzle oh you leveled up by the way sure did i uh i just haven't used it yet i i um uh, is there a certain build you'd like me to check out while we're uh uh if you want to go weird the uh thorns build is very good at this point uh, hold on, I pressed, uh, oh, uh, press T to level up, not I, what am I doing? Thorns, do, uh, that would be in the perks tab. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a perk that you can get at level 10, but before we get there, like, you might want to start putting points into, uh, damage and health and maybe hack speed, because weapon damage now applies to thorns. <laughs> Ooh, let's do, uh, we'll start off with some weapon damage here. And those perks, I remember seeing those last time, and those that's awesome. Uh, I guess let's uh, let me bring uh, brings me to my first question here. Uh, if you were looking to build certain roles, uh, is there certain? Do you have a set uh, image or idea in mind of what you want people to uh, put their points into? Like, let's well, say I if I wanted to build a sniper, would I just go weapon range and damage, and not worry about my health because I'll be you know, if my uh, my friends are hacking like this uh, pink building over here, Nano Cloud Firm, I wouldn't be getting hit over here for health wise. Yeah, totally. And yeah, ideally that's what you would do. And that's one of the reasons that I switched it over to uh, less different types of talents, but more uh, more effect per point, is because I didn't want people to have to split their points between. Much yeah, and just kind of uh, maybe like an advanced version. I am seeing some crazy stuff. I oof. Ooh, I'm seeing like a jetpack thing up there. It's daunting. I think I just saw finality. <laughs> yep, finality is up there. So actually, one of the things that I did is I removed jetpacks. Yep, no, no uh, more jetpacks, but you have the triple jump, which is, I think is pretty huge. Yeah, and you can still cheat if you really want a jetpack, but um, so they're not like entirely removed from the game, but they are removed. 
So uh, yeah, they're 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 there, but they're uh, dormant in this uh, current version. Right, right. The hacking progress bar. Uh, I like those little slashes behind it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, just trying to draw some attention to. It. Oh, did you hack another building? No, that's my minion. I think is what you're looking oh. at. Maybe. Oh, okay. I was so, like, what? What is, what is this? <laughs> One of the things that I added is that um, if you hack two servers and an enemy kills another enemy, it can actually level up and get stronger. Is uh, is this the building that we just hacked that you're standing on still? Yeah. Um, so they stay solid now, so you can still jump on them. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I didn't see an item drop then. That's, yeah, that's new to me then. Yeah. So the items should drop... Uh, actually, I didn't see it either. They should drop on the same side the arrow. Oh, no, I got one. It dropped, like, directly on me. Mm. Oh, maybe I have it. Oh, I do. I totally have it. <laughs> uh, Arctic Bolt. Okay, let's... Uh... Sure, I'm not a big... F I, I don't personally use the shotguns as much. So... That feels like it, that feels like it packs a punch, just the, the animation on this one. Yeah, so shotguns pack a lot more of a punch now that they have more projectiles, and they do... Uh, they have... Um, damage fall off, but because they have damage fall off, I've increased their damage at close range. So if you're really right up next to something, you'll do almost double damage. Let's. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm, try I'm also trying to not die here, but uh, it the uh, I guess just the the actual animation of shooting. It's got like that little pause where like the uh, the Arctic Bolt trail is at uh, for the for the snowballs or whatever. Oh, and do I bounce? Oh, oh shit! I do have ricochet. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's a nice item drop here. An Imperial LAS gun? I think that one's new to me too. Imperial. Oh, that, yeah, that's just one of the rarity names. So that's a uh, that's a Dune reference, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I do recall there was lots of uh, sci-fi references uh, in various forms throughout the game, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, I see this. Ha okay, I see some hack radius now. I'll drop a couple on there as well. And yeah, so one of the suggestions earlier today was that when you're in multiplayer, it'd be nice if the hack radius for other players was white, so that you kinda... knew which ones that you couldn't go out. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Sort of like your minions, are they're white now instead of that, that chrome. Yeah, so if you had a minion, it would be chrome. Okay, but, so, so yeah. since it's yours, it's the white. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm doing stuff. I guess my hacks are done. That nice relaxing music going on here. Got the level up. <laughs> oh, Pete, I don't know if you noticed this, but sometimes the lasers are different colors. So like, I've got a purple laser here. You know, there's the regular red ones. Hmm. You can you can get orange ones. I would definitely like to use an orange one. Let's uh, still haven't gotten any other. Uh, lasers yet or the the yeah the lasers i have the las gun but that's uh that's about it there i'm liking these two weapons i i don't mind them so far i have two level up points so let's go and put those uh one each uh so you were saying weapon damage and health yeah that's what i would go for okay okay there we go so we're ready to take on this uh Gigantic level ten. So I'm not seeing. Oh, you actually have to be in this one to hack it. Is that how this one works? The uh... yeah. Do you want to go for that already? Let me let me come up in there with you if you're gonna start it. Uh, I think that. Oh, you know, let's do some of these uh the linked ones down here first. I and we can go under here. Yeah. This one says high threat over here. Level seven. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Uh, we get I think we should we should be able to get this. I will hack the five. And you got this crazy music going on now. Oh let me drop oh, my uh <laughs> let me drop my scorporation that I just picked up there. Oh we're so that's good. That's the thing about linked servers is that when you hack one it hacks both of them. Yep. Yeah, I see they both have that red band uh, going on around them. I feel like I'm really fast right now. Um I, I've seen the uh, the hack circle over here is looking a little funky. 
Yeah, so that's one of the things that I've been struggling with is how do you do that in a three-dimensional world? And so right now it just kind of tries to figure out like what, what does it sit on top of and kind of comes down from there. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got like a shielded guy and then also like a cloaked one over here. Oh yeah, I'm super low health. Okay, I got the level up though, so now I am full health. Uh, we got a green. Nice. I think they killed all my minions. A green gray hat much. Uh, I guess I'm only seeing one drop unless I picked up the other one again. Which I might have done. I, I, I guess I'm uh, pretty good at picking up items without noticing. Let's take a look here real quick. Oh, so we got a uh, rest. That's the uh, overtime heal, right? That's not just the instant. Yeah, there's the two different types. Yeah, that's the overtime. And I had to buff those recently because players end up getting a lot more health over time. Okay. Uh, so we've got a mod chip here. Uh, RAM regeneration. Awesome. I, I enjoy that. Put another one into weapon damage here. Cool, cool, cool. So do you think we're ready for uh, the indoor server? Yeah, we can try it, man. The famed... Let's just die a bunch so it's like level 73. <laughs> <laughs> so those sorts of servers uh, don't actually get stronger when you die to them. Ah, okay. So Because I knew people would have trouble with that. So where do I actually hack this from? The little info box by the back door. Oh, okay, I see it over here. Yeah. And then we got a haste upgrade up there, which I might snag. Uh, I'll also drop a scorporation here. It might give it to both of us. Yeah, it did. If I'm close enough, it works for both of them. Okay. Uh, yep, so again, I don't see it showing a uh, hack radius in here. Yeah, well, inside it's not going to show that because... Okay, you're inside, I guess. Yeah, yeah we're actually we're actually locked in. If you go back out to the front door, oh, we come in, it's that's... shut now. That is slick. That is a slick feature right there. Uh, now, am I correct in saying that I don't see any more, ouch, um, enemies remaining? Uh, so it's not gonna show that while you're still hacking it, right? Because it, it's die. gonna spawn more after that. Oh no, Pete, I will save you. It's okay, I'm, oh wait, I have a heal, duh. Okay, I died, so this you is died. an interesting thing. Okay, uh, so I totally forgot because that I have a heal. I can't come back in, but I can, like, watch from down here, kind of? <laughs> oh my, okay, now it's saying the enemies remaining. Oh god, okay, so there's a lot of them in there. There are, there's a few things going on here. So, I have this. So I have this. I can I can see the enemies like so after you finish a hack you can see them through the wall if they yep, haven't been visible yep. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, I can I see, see them the, all just the converging on you. They're like almost all gets fish. It's okay, we're going, we're doing it. We're uh we're 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 going. <laughs> so now you were talking about thorns earlier, is that a um So that's the damage return stat. Okay, so that's like a uh, an effect on like an item. It's not a standalone. Oh gosh. Sorry if I'm uh, my my wording's a little uh, broken up here. Trying to uh, not die. I've gotten three of them down. I've gotten three enemies down. I suppose maybe if I actually focused my uh, shots here a little bit. Chip away at them here. Um. Now, I'll, I'll ask you one question here while I'm still chipping away here. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, my gosh. I still see them all over here. I think they're trying yeah, to come after you. They are. I can see it, like, staring at me through the wall here, just like, I'm get you, buddy. <laughs> uh, so, aside from, obviously, some of, you know, just the, the physical changes to the map, um, you, you mentioned... You were doing some reworking of the different stats and items in the background. Um, I guess if you want to just cover some more of those, feel free to while I'm working sure. on the seven here. Yeah, so like the thorns now applies, uh, weapon damage applies to the thorns. A lot of the uh, stats are now stronger on items. So like attack speed, instead of being like one or two percent on items, now starts at like five, which is a decent thing, especially considering you can get it on like all your items. Okay. 
and yeah, just, just a lot of little balancing in the background. Okay, cool. So we did the it. door opened. <laughs> yes. I think you mean you did it. I helped a Ooh. little bit. I picked up a plasma cutter. This sounds like a new item to me, so I'll check that out here while you uh, work your way back. It's just another las gun, but it's a rare las gun. Nice. Oh, I got a sniper bouncy ball. Hooray. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the ones that are like super hard to hit anything with, but you know. Uh, they're fun. It's it's definitely one of the more fun item items. Blah. Oh man, if I if I could just get the uh, a disco death ball, I'll be I'll be set. So uh, jumps now by default are double jumps, right? That's correct. Okay. So every jump will do a double. Jump. Every every jump is uh, the double jump. Awesome, awesome. Also, hi Chris. Chris wants you to let the cat in. <laughs> you know, I'll do that. Hold on one second. Yeah, go for it. Uh, if you guys are just tuning in, we are having a little chat slash interview uh, and a showcase of the game Black Ice with the developer. Right there. Look at him. As you can see that name, slash dev, Garrett Cooper. With any luck, the cat won't make any noise while I'm <laughs> uh, I, I don't think many people... Oh my gosh. Okay, I shouldn't be wandering out this far, but I just kind of want to I just want to go look at the map here. I'm seeing like this little yeah. like, jetpack, like a floating force on the bottom of finality. <laughs> so I I don't have roaming enemies in yet, although I've been thinking thank about Thank you. How thank you for not having. <laughs> well, I want to do it though. Just so uh real quick is the shark here. He's not in this build right now. Okay. He's taking vacation. So, the way I'm seeing it, I, I can kind of see... I love some of these building shapes. Uh, it seems like you're supposed to clear this one area first, move on to the next. So, it's kind of like... Uh, let me equate this to like a movie. Um, it, you start out like in a... You know, you gotta, you gotta feed the bad guy, which obviously here is finality. And you start out in the, uh, the lowly slums of uh, the super mesh. And you kind of work your way up to like the fancier and stronger parts of the map. What is that one over there? There's like a big pyramid. <laughs> so is that like that's in my mind? That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Is you, you start in one area and you move from right. like, the the different boroughs of the city and whatnot. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. Right now, unfortunately, everything outside the valley is a little bit. Um, I did this kind of quickly, and my plan is to go in and change things as I go. So. Um, you know, the causeway here and the way finality is set up is um, just acid? like an example of how it can do things. Oh, not acid? Um, <laughs> just, okay, let me just park. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you might need a better jump to get up to that second I, level. I there. probably just need to drink a lot of water right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so if I jump off, you're I'm dead, right? Whoa. Oh, yeah, totally. That one bouncy ball, like super curved down there. Uh, I noticed running up this hill, I didn't really, I feel like I'm not jumping at all. Yeah, that's a thing. So uh, that's another thing that I'm going to look into is changing the physics around a little bit. Okay. Um, and it could just I be like, the jump power that I have right now. No, I, it's, it's, it has to do with hills. There's something weird going on with that. But yeah, so as I, when I look into getting weapon models set up, I'm going to look into uh, kind of changing the way that the movement is set up. I'll still allow for that 100% air control and, um, you know, I'll retain all the mechanics that I currently have, but hopefully I can add some more interesting things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you found the secret one off the side there. I mean, it's not really that secret. I'm also not high enough level to use it. I was just going to say, yeah, like, but you oh can my sell gosh. It. I could sell it. Your uh, web crawlers only got... 2 HP, excuse me. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, so you don't go into battle and it's like, well, what the heck happened to you? <laughs> Let me reset him then. Um, okay, I dropped down. Um, so you, okay, so you come out of that building. This is the first area down here, the valley. I almost fell in. Um, may I ask what the deal is with the, uh, with the green encased area? What? Just jump down there and hack it, and I'll show you. Oh, oh. I don't like the sound of that first off, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of like dark servers. It's one of those things you have to experience, you know? Um, 
Oof. Let's uh, make sure my rest... Okay, my rest is on. I'm gonna pop on uh, Scorporation there. Where you at, buddy? Where did you go, buddy? Garrett? What aren't you telling me? <laughs> I, I'm just hanging up over here. Just hack one of these things. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I picked the wrong one. I picked the highest level one, of course. That's weird, Pete. The door's shut. Oh, no. Oh, no. My scorpion didn't show up. My scorporation. There it is. Okay. Yeah, he just takes I a thought, second to spawn. I thought, well, I thought the last time that there was a... Uh, some uh like death fog going on over here <laughs> wow, yeah so the, the fog, here. yeah the fog does react to like the lights in your lasers um which if uh if you have a computer that can't handle that you can always uh turn on low particle mode and it gets rid of the fog uh yeah shoot some uh shoot some bouncy balls over here i'm over in the corner here look at i the couldn't lights. see you because of the fog yeah that is that's so cool Light reactive fog. Got two items off of that one. I got a sprint. Let me equip that real quick. Oh, you, ooh. it uses less than half the RAM. That's, ooh, that's something. Oh, there you go. Now we're hacking. Yeah, why not? Hacking with gas. I don't think, no one said that ever in the history of ever. <laughs> <laughs> um... Now, I, I know you got a pre oh, I just got super boosted by your gets fish there. I know <laughs> Mine are the other ones here, because there's some other ones. Oh, there. yours. That was yours. It was a white one. Uh, <laughs> I know that you've got a, a fairly tight-knit community, and I think uh, Jigstra, I remember seeing his name in the Discord. If you do want to link your yeah. Discord, go for it. Um, oh, sure. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, yeah, the Discord's been a great place to for everybody to hang out. and I post... Um, more in progress screenshots there than i would otherwise on twitter oh, yeah. it's like the most exclusive black ice uh information source uh yes. i guess my question to you though is you you seem to be pretty close with with the fan base uh and the community for the game how important is it to you uh to receive this feedback and how do you implement it when you're working on updates or patches nerfs buffs all that stuff Oh man, feedback is essential to making the game better. Like I definitely couldn't have done this without everybody giving feedback. I, you know, like I don't always take everyone's advice because I still have, you know, a theme in mind and, uh, you oh, know. Oh yeah, like you can't just go on and just be like, uh, uh, you get a you get a car to drive or so, you know something out of. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I mean stuff like that, and then also like. You know, some people are like, oh, you should have alternate fire on your weapons. And I'm like, yeah, but then I wouldn't have all items or one button, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Th things like that where I'm trying to keep it simple. Um, a lot of times people have really cool ideas about nice things that you could do, but then it would be kind of confusing for new players. And that's not something I need. Like, I want to keep the game approachable as well. Yes, uh, an approachable game is huge. Uh, I just want to point out my Gits Fish was actually on top. Of the building oh yeah they can climb up on <laughs> everything like oh he no he was like outside i think oh yeah they can climb on top of this too if uh, if they need to what a... <laughs> um now uh xp gems those are new and i think i yes. saw your gets fish pick one up so you were uh uh I don't is that is that in the game yet? so or maybe i picked it up i might have picked it up yeah, so I actually, so the XP gems were part of a mechanic that um, I I tried out a mechanic that didn't actually work. So that's something that nobody's ever going to see. Um, but basically, I was going to have all the enemies and servers drop those XP gems, mm -hmm. um, but they yeah. would have like a quick expiration. Um, okay. So you would have to go and like very quickly pick up those things in order to get the XP from them. Um, and it added like another thing to do in combat and it was fun at first, but it just kind of became a chore afterwards. And so I got rid of that mechanic, but I did keep XP gems in the map. I do. I do enjoy the XP gems. That's, that's kind of cool. Just like a little bonus. Um, oh, here we go. We're going. Yeah. I'm seeing more of that, uh, that weird, uh, pathfinding of the, the hack radius. Yeah. Oh. 
you would pick a clone ser or a cloak server, wouldn't you? Dark server. I'll use the proper names. I mean, I couldn't call them a cloak server. People would know what they were right away. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that makes I kind of I kind of want to surprise you. Yeah, one of the things that I'm trying to keep is that you know cyberspace is mysterious. There's weird stuff going on. It's dangerous. If you make a mistake, you could end up messed up. So I remember the first time I played a dark server, it kicked my ass. <laughs> like it didn't it didn't tell me any info. It just and I was <laughs> highlighting enemies and it was just like oh we don't know. <laughs> yep, it's like good luck, dude. You'll have fun. And I'm pretty sure I got one shot at multiple times. I just I if you hack like a big one, then yeah. I'm I think I just got unlucky and definitely got uh, a big one. Uh, Jake Straw still thinks we should get uh, get some Tron light bikes in here. Oh man, I you know that's one of the things that I'd like to do, but like the amount of mechanics to get that going because you have to change like the way the character behaves you have to do a ui difference you have to figure out like if the player can shoot or hack while they're using it like how do the enemies react with the trail this is so cool i'm gonna pick up another haste here oh wait hold up let me get close oh i already do oh, it was too fast no i was so fast i am z zipping everywhere i do like this mobility that character oh i missed uh, the mobility that you have now, especially with that mantle. And yes. You can, you can start stepping up with the buildings, and I can see why you would keep uh, hacked buildings in. Because now I'm able to. Right. You want to still up, be able to step play. up. Yeah. So now I'm up here. Oh, I see you hacking over there. <laughs> I started two swarm servers at once. Oh, no. Are they going to fight? Will they fight? Oh, yeah, totally. And, and, like, if you watch them attacking each other, you'll see the little level up particles come out of them every once in a while. That's, oh my gosh, one of my shots just went straight up in the air. <laughs> one of the ricochets. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know what's where, but we're going. We're doing stuff. Stuff <laughs> nice. is happening. More yellow. But yeah, like, I mean, I've got a ramp here and I'm standing up on top of the ramp. And if the enemies want to get at me, they either have to go like all the way over here and then climb up that backside or they can come up the ramp at me. So like, I'm actually able to be strategic with the environment. Whereas that's in pretty the old cool. world. Yeah, in the old world, you couldn't do that. Now, um, are you planning on implementing other game modes? I know you got like a co-op uh, and then the, like the, uh, the PVP mode in the works are you planning on yeah. adding anything else like maybe uh, like a like a wave defense or a well more more story driven mode yeah well i mean there's gonna be the whole quest system that's coming in and so eric uh not a decimal actually is uh is the guy's game dev name um shout out who's made several games of his own yeah, yeah um, that's sure has. <laughs> and that's one of the default hacker names in the game too uh, yep but yep uh, uh, the the reason why I chuckle at uh, non decimal making games, uh, if you check out my YouTube channel, I actually completed his game after death, start to finish. I think I was one of like four people that beat that entire game. Oh wow, you actually played after death like that one. Like that's not even technically released. I don't that's think. not that's not even a, like an actual game. He was like, hey guys, play my game after death. Have proof that you beat uh, stages, and uh, I'll I'll give away an ouya, and I I got one of them. <laughs> That's amazing. That's great. So, yep, yeah, not uh, he's he's got that game. Uh, I know he had like a like a little bike game that he made. Um, I know he's he's got weird. He's got such crazy out there ideas for some story uh, automation and procedural generation of a story that develops itself and all that that he was working on. Yeah, on. that's one of the things we're working on for this. So right. it won't be just handwritten quests, although there will be some of those. But the it's, idea is that. You don't want to run out of quests, it's, yeah, so it's, it's going to be like... It's kind of mind-blowing to think about, like, just a story that makes itself, almost. Yeah, it's like, hey, we need to hack this thing, so you need to get that guy's help, but to get his help, you got to get him out of prison first, and then you got to do this in order oh, wow. to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do this dark server here. All right. And uh, looping back to what we were talking about earlier, so um, yep. the thing about narrative driven modes or maybe like some sort of wave defense mode so we are are considering different mechanics of like oh you have to hack this type of server well that's it's a different one like maybe you're 
strategy, you, like you don't need to actually hack it. You need to like, while the enemies are running around, you need to get data to certain points in the map. Um, oh, kind of like a, like a runner. Yeah, maybe some of that, but like while you're hacking, for instance, or like you need to sneak through this area where there are a bunch of like spotlights. And if you get caught by a spotlight while you're trying to get the data to another place, like, you know, that sort of thing, or that's um, cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe defend a particular server that some other corporation is trying to take over. So you have to, you know, you have to kill the enemies before they can get to a certain point as opposed to them all coming after you. Okay, yeah, that's I that's I'm excited to see all, all of this come into play. Um, any do you have any set times of when this is going to be coming out, or is it just kind of when? No, you... unfortunately, not <laughs> set times. But uh, but yeah, I, I'm what I want to try. There's a couple of things I want to try for the the next upcoming patch. Um, I, I want to do, I want to have servers like after you hack them, um, I want to see if I can make them like come back stronger <laughs> afterwards. I think that could be fun. Like uh, sort of, uh, I guess I, I'm hearing that and in my mind, I'm seeing like uh, the the people running the servers have uh, it fixed it and made it better kind of concept. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's pretty cool. I lost you again. Oh, yeah, I see so you. You're still there. You, you literally did not move. <laughs> 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 I jumped off and then I jumped back up. So yeah, um, yeah, that sort of thing. And then maybe um, uh, I, you know I've been talking about roaming enemies for the longest time, and I think mm -hmm. that I finally I just need a little bit more tech to get that working. I need to be able to set it up to where enemies will like if they're roaming and they see you and then you run away. They don't just like chase you forever. I think that would be not much fun. Uh, uh, yeah, give them a the, uh, sense of vision. Yeah, that, oh yeah. So like that they can detect you only from a certain distance away. And then also so that they can, um, so they can leash back to their spawn point or whatever. Okay. Their patrol path maybe. Patrol path. Sick. I've got a lot of level ups that I've not used yet. Uh, and I, I'm noticing there's that uh, like an orange outline. Is that new or have I am I just not remembering things? Orange outline of what the item? Oh yeah, the uh, the box drops. You'll see it here on the stream uh, in a bit. Oh sure, yeah. So those are those are um, the epics. Uh, Ringer epic, yeah. I got a uh, the Sarbama. Let's go and drop that in. Wow, oh, nice. that looks so yeah, that cool. That should be good damage. I, I like the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? like the star effect as it's flying away, like the little light filter <laughs> there? Yeah, that's cool. Um, let me use some skill points here real quick. Uh, health seems to be going all right for me. Weapon damage and use. I think you said a third one. Was it RAM? Uh, maybe hack speed if hack you want to go for that. Okay. Um, but yeah, on, you're not going to go wrong with weapon damage. And then maybe we can go back up to the RAM and hack some harder things. Yeah. Let's do this uh, mega com mechanics real quick. I'm noticing that a lot of these colors are kind of similar. Now, did you lay that out so someone can't just be like, okay, let me hack a green and a yellow, and then they'll fight each other and I can just stand here? So, yeah, it's funny that you should bring that, but there's... Um, right now, it doesn't matter if they're the same color or not, they'll still, they'll still attack each other. But we are going to add... Um, like, you're going to have to try to figure out which servers are you know, sub corporations of the, of certain other corporations. And ah. if you if you figured that out, you might be able to tell like, oh, well, if I hack these two, they're not going to attack each other. They're both just going to go for me. Um, OK. Yeah. And so that'll make multi hacking a little more dangerous. I, it's, it's something I've always done. Uh, it just kind of speeds things up. Well, that star bomb is so cool. I need to get some uh, faster speed on there. Just going around here. Well, I was gonna ask you about. Uh, is this the last one? That's the last guy. Boom. Uh, now, where might that item have dropped for this? It, oddly... it dropped. At least for oh, me, it's, it's on it. Look at it. Oh, it's yeah, still it's, it's still falling. Okay, it's coming down. I thought it was on the uh, the side here for a second, and I can actually walk all the way up this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, slowly, but yes. <laughs> 
So these, that building in particular is one of the ones that uh, I've been studying, studying brutalist architecture. Oh yeah, I've, I've been seeing you post a few of those uh, on the Twitter. The, uh, the Black Ice of the Game. They're, yeah, they're definitely some very funky looking buildings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one over there with legs is, is a real building, actually. It's uh, the Museum of Art in Sao Paulo or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, like the one that's hanging on the rim here, the, the indoor server, is actually a ski resort in real life. Um, and this staircase is in an embassy. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to draw on real architecture more. This is so weird being in this room and not seeing the color. Yes, it looks a little weird with no color. It's like, oh no, what happened? Because I don't know if you noticed, but as your health gets lower, the color drains out of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it just makes you think like, oh God, am I about to die? But no. <laughs> So I did see a pretty cool building over here with the, uh, uh, it was like a big pyramid looking thing. And I see, you got like all these little jumpy areas here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because, you know, we can do that. And uh, um, I'm, I'm starting to hack here if you want to come join. Oh, oh. Probably need your help. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, because the enemies can handle these sort of jumps now and they can climb up things and they, they couldn't handle it before. And now it's and especially once you have that mantle, I am flying and doing everything right now. Um, I, I I do it's I I'm having fun here doing the uh, the mantling, and just kind of flying about the map and not worrying about exactly where I'm at, not like getting trapped in a corner because I can just mantle up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was the idea with like the reason that you can mantle backwards is because I wanted you to be able to you know in, in areas like this like. If you're backpedaling, it's like, oh, it's no fun to run into a wall that <laughs> you can see over, you know? So why not just mantle up it? I am in this right now. I am all that is happening right here. Oh my gosh, I see them all surrounding you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they keep dropping health packs. Um, and I've got that Sar Bama. It does good damage if I'm seeing the numbers right here. Nope, not anymore. Oh, they got you. Oh, no. Oh, that's the other thing. Like, you got to walk all the way back up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and now that the hack's done, I'm seeing the... Uh, there's still a lot of enemies up there. I just saw... Uh, there really was, are. That was not an enemy. That was just a star there. So here we go. I'm coming back. Oh, stuck. And I do feel like you run faster, too. Uh, have you messed with mechanics there at all? Oh, they got me. Um, a little <laughs> bit. It's more that, um, so there's actually motion blur in the game now, and it makes it just feel faster. Okay, that might be what I'm seeing here. I just picked up a purple. I got the spicy meatball. Oh, nice. And stuff is exploding by me. Oh, it might have been remnant mines. Let's go and equip Yeah, there were some mine layers. How does the um, AOE on your rocket feel, Jake Straw is asking here. I'm guessing that's directed towards me. Uh, it felt pretty tight. I guess I thought I was kind of kicking some ass there. We can, uh, we can definitely try that one again. That maybe, one got stronger. It's 16 now. Maybe, maybe, not, maybe, that. maybe not that one, but one of these. Um, uh, yeah, how, how big is the AOE? It, bleh, how big is the AOE supposed to be on these, uh... Yeah, it's two meters now, um, and the reason that it's that small is because you can still get like a machine gun or a shotgun rocket launcher that should not have a wide radius, but the sniper ones like you have that are slower probably should have a much bigger radius. And so that's one of the things that I've, I've been looking into for later, but well, I haven't had a chance to do yet. Will the meters be uh, just like one block on the grid here? Right. Okay. But no, it, it's it's the radius of it, so it's in more than one direction. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I am. Oh, tower. Jake oh. says tower guns had procedurally generated uh, quests to kind of, at least if there are multiple storylines and it would choose each one. Yeah, that that could work. Um, we are going for like a like a proper <laughs> procedurally generated setup. All right, I'm coming back. I'm going to do this level eight hanging on the edge here. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll work our way up a little. <laughs> uh, I, I bought more health. I don't know about you, man. Oh, you know what? I should probably also turn on my rest. Let's, yeah, let's see if I can't uh, AOE an enemy here. I think it, you still got to be pretty tight knit with those shots. Like, it's not, you know, I can't just shoot everywhere willy nilly. 
and expect to hit with uh, a rocket launcher here. So sure. I mean, like, there's no splash damage, and or rather, there's no splash damage to yourself, and there's, it, I don't know, it it needed to be balanced somehow. Oh, for sure. And that's what updates are for and patches. If, uh, if it turns out to not be working how you want it to, you can go back in and tweak it. Will you ever be done with Black Ice? I mean, <laughs> okay, that's a different question from <laughs> will it ever reach 1.0. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, that's, uh, that was another question. I guess I'm kind of tying these two in. Like, what's, what's the end goal? Is it to hit uh, version 1, or it, do you want to go past that? I, I mean, I plan on going past that, but I, yes, version 1.0 is going to be a thing. It's going to have quests. It's going to have, um, it's going to have more stuff to find in the world. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, more mechanics, uh, in terms of like different things you can hack and it feels different and that sort of thing. Your, uh, gets fishes back down to two health again. I always see it at two health for some reason. I'm also... Well, I'm seeing it at 53. I see yours at 2. That's interesting. Maybe it's not updating properly. Uh-oh. We got bug bug zone. <laughs> oh, it could just be an update in communication. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, actually, for this particular build, I do have the way that enemy health is updating is a little bit different. And it looks like it's not quite working the way I want it to be. But Oh, that's why we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen any other real issues, though. So that's very nice. Go, finally got that level up oh plasma ball that's one of my favorite items one of my favorite weapons it's a rare shotgun 70 dps got that level up so i'll do that too here in a second i think i'm gonna stick with the gets fish in the scorporation though could change out my hack i guess now, is there still the shift or shift to compare? Uh, not in that UI yet. Okay. It will be there. Yeah. So the tooltips, if you look at them, they're, you know, pretty different. And we're working on making the, uh, getting it set up to where you can do comparisons. Okay. Yeah. Because that, when that was added, that was huge. I was really excited to be able to, because I do a lot of, okay, well, this one's got this stat. This one's got this stat. Okay. But what about this stat on this one? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it got a little dizzy and kind of clicking back and forth between everything. Right. And yeah, that's not something that, that I want. I want people to be able to be like, all right, well, this one has a green up arrow, so I'm going to use it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like the, the green text, red text. Uh, the the universal better, worse than. Right. Okay, sense. so if the game thinks we can handle a 13 or a 12, let's try this one over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have both my dudes? Yeah, I need one more dude here. Plasma balls were my favorite for like the longest time. Yeah, they look a little different now. I don't know if they, you've seen. They look a little bit smaller. I guess I can't. They're moving pretty fast, so I guess I can't see them too closely. Whoops, I missed my shot there. They feel a little faster. Yeah, they still have that highly variable damage, though. I always thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I just hit for eight, and then, uh, more than eight. Oh, I repeat. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, survived. I have 30 health left. <laughs> Here's a health uh, drop right here. There you go. Okay, much better. Whew. Uh, are there any plans to implement, uh, I guess, in a hackerish theme? Something where someone could drop something that gave off a healing effect? Uh, so technically, if you pick up a healing item and I'm close enough by, it'll actually heal both of us. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I would like some sort of item that you could use cooperatively. Like, I'd love to somehow figure out how they got the, um, like the medic's heal gun in, in TF2. Like, that'd be great to have both for multiplayer and for your own minions, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess one of my favorite medic weapons was from Monday Night Combat, where it, it was the heal gun hurt gun, where it had the stream, <laughs> so you didn't have to actually aim at them. You could just hold it. Sort of like Mercy's uh, heal. Right. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm going for. Uh, 
So, Jig is mentioning that he misses how enemies used to get uh, bigger and stronger. Or not just stronger, but also like physically bigger on the larger servers. And it made some of the items more useful. Well, that was one of the problems, is that it made it, a little, it made it actually easier the bigger the server was, because the enemies had a harder time moving around and they also were easier to shoot. Um, currently that's not a thing, however, I am planning on making like different sized enemies just like, oh well this one, like, you know, light blue servers, they've got the really hard enemies, but they're not physically different. I was thinking about just making those bigger. Like there'd be many boss type ones that could occasionally spawn from other servers. Okay. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I do, now that you mentioned that, I do kind of remember where enemies, like, especially if you hacked Finality, they were huge. Right. Big old huge. Yeah. yeah. The, the problem with that is the bigger they are, the harder the pathfinding is. Like, because there's some small gaps in here. Oh, my God. Running around. Oh, geez, they got. <laughs> he zipped after me right there. <laughs> Was it the one with the shield? Uh, I think. Uh, I can't remember. It uh, there was a pop up there, but he he <laughs> zipped after me, and I was outside of the hack radius, and I was just like, "I'm safe over here." Nope. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to not finish the hack until you get close here, so you can get the XP. Okay, I should just be right around the corner. I see a pink dude. Running nice. Up on him there. I got level ten. Did you? Uh, I am about 1,600 or 2,000 points short for level 10. Oh, dang. Okay. But I do have a level up. Let's put that... Let's put one more in a heal, um, health here. Now, I guess I haven't been paying attention to the the effects or the... I guess, what would you call them? Like, the modifiers on the weapons? Uh, so, I don't know uh, if I've been missing a Affixes are what I call affixes, them. Affixes, yeah. yep. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I have any with Thorn yet. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, the other unfortunate thing is I can't drop items for you right now. <laughs> That's fine. We don't want to be marked as cheaters now, do we? Oh, well, no, I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, my, I got it in the game. I should be able to drop it and give it to you. Like, that that actually was in the old UI. It's not in the new one. But it's as simple as adding a box that you can drag something to and then put it on the ground. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that, where it was almost like a rudimentary trading system. A rudimentary lathe. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a trading <laughs> system. Uh, I'm going to do this one back over here, this level 11. Spawn the guys and turn on my healing. That would be bad if I forgot that again. Very detrimental. Well, I think that is most of the questions. I'm sure I can come up with other ones here. Uh, one I kind of want to say for the end. I, oh my gosh, oh, I'm going to die. Okay. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. How about that? How's that for an answer? People yeah. I'm coming. Some of these guys are so fast. I need to be I need to be mantling and just jip there we go. I'm safe. I'm safe now. I like how the, the crosshair is kinda Nope. There we go. We're safe. The crosshair kinda pops on and off there. Yeah, it reacts to when you're shooting. <laughs> There's a little animation to it. That's that's another thing that James did. Cool, cool. Uh, did not level up. Still short of 10 here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Got a, was that an 11? And now, am I still able to read information on the doors or is that not in here right now? Oh, you totally can. Just left click on them. Actually, I'm going to go down to that shop on the bottom floor because it was a it was a minion yep. shop. Yep, and yep. We, We've hacked some high-level servers by this point, so I should be able to find some better ones. I'll be right back. I'll meet you there. I do enjoy the whole, yeah, like the, the almost parkour feel, or free running. I know some people get really picky about those terms. Oh, is there a difference? I don't know. I, you know, to the, to the average person, I don't think so. <laughs> I had a buddy once that got really picky about that, and 
he would get after me all the time. Let's, uh, yeah, what can I use here? I've got... Where is my creds? I have five! <laughs> oh, no, because you've been dying? Well, I mean, you haven't sold anything yet, right? No, I so... have not, so I can, I can definitely oh, sell yeah. some of this. So this is the old UI, so if people were wondering what I was talking about with the shift, the shift and highlighting the other stuff, as you can see, I've got two boxes here, and you can kind of see uh, other objects at the same time. All I know is parkour is French. I, they, you know, someone told me, uh, I think it was something like parkour is the, the art and the principle behind uh, how you move from point A to point B, and then free running was just climbing over stuff and doing flips. Or so you like... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, you know, I just, it, it confused me. I just didn't listen too closely to it. I just jumped on top of my aimbot to give me a higher vantage point so that I could jump up on top of this thing. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, hey, if, if that's in the game. Oh, I can use the, can I use the uh, item level one? How could I have not used that before? That's kind of weird. I'll look into it here in a second. Drop off all these heals. I would like to get this uh, level uh, eight scorporation here, because I am I am a big fan of those. Nice, yeah, I got. So the reason that that server is maxing out at level eight is because that shop is actually level thirteen. So if you want, Pete, we could just hack it after you've sold all your stuff, and we could get all of that loot. So okay, so I can just sell everything here, hack it, and then we'll just get it back. Uh, you won't get back what you have sold. You will get back the regular inventory because you can always do the buyback at a different shop. Oh, get the uh, okay. So get all the uh, the minions here. Let me. Uh... Not that I didn't just spend a bunch of time buying minions, but okay. <laughs> Sell them back. I don't want this anymore. Now I don't think I have yet found another colored laser, uh, but we will. Face melting plasma ball. What? The the icons on the lasers are not different. Yep. Um, I, I guess I, this is the first time I've gotten a second laser aside from the starter. Oh, fair enough. Something that plays into it, but we'll check it out here. Um, drop off some more things. I'm just dropping stuff off. Okay. Let me equip this other laser. Oh, yep. This one's purple. Nice. Different colored lasers there. That's always fun. Not high enough level to use the digi shock. Oh, required level 20. There it says it now. Okay. Yeah, that was the one that you got on the bridge, right? Yep. In the shop, it's it still was saying... Oh. oh, nope. Different. Different one. There's a level one. Ooh. Looks like you've updated the uh, the graphics on that a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, of course, it's been forever since I've used one, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, there's that perk for it that's pretty cool. Uh, do you want to try hacking the shop? Sure, let's go for it. Um, all right, uh, let me drop my dudes. And kind of go into it now since i didn't do the hacking the music isn't all dramatic and intense <laughs> yeah i haven't figured out a good way to set it up to where if you're in the hack radius it does the music or not okay but. yeah i was gonna say like that's you know like that seems like it'd be the logical thing to do is just like if you're standing in the circle but then again if there's a whole bunch of circles going on and you're dipping in and out the music can start to just be bad yeah that could be no Where did the yellow ones come from? That Maybe from me colorizing. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, so now... <laughs> A king's bounty. D oh yeah, did we just get some achievements there? Oh, uh, did I, oh, there's the items, okay. Now is there just one item here? Uh, look at your inventory. 
There we go. Okay, I didn't pick it up yet. <laughs> yeah, they all drop in the same spot, and I fixed the bug that, like, they were playing all of the sounds at the same time, so it was definitely. Oh, deafening. gosh. Do discs still do flips if you shoot straight up? Pretty sure they do, yeah. Um, is that a flip? To me, it kind of looks like it just slides instead of flipping. Like if I were to hit like a wall kind of thing. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not doing it. That's interesting. Yeah, it used to... There was some sort of weird vector map thing that was I, causing I, I, it to do weird flips. Yeah, I thought there was like a twist in it before, like a very definite twist. Yeah, I did not fix that on purpose, but it looks to be fixed. So <laughs> that, was, that must have been a Unity bug that wasn't my fault. Let's hey. go with that. We will go with that. Um, I can shoot it into this plane here. Or loop it around, I should say. Uh, on its return path. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there. I suppose that makes sense because it's on its return. So, Pete, there's one major area that you haven't seen yet. Um, not just out on the rim. So, do you see... Like this area right here, um, this like big bluff that's kind of a big corner here. Oh, yep. So if we go up onto the rim and then go around to that side, um, I will show you something. Okay, look at us hopping. Oh, oh, I thought I missed. We're good, we're good. We're golden. <laughs> yeah, one thing to do is make sure your sprint's on when you're running around like this yes. because your mantling speed and like your air speed is also determined by your regular move speed. Of course, uh, being a, you know, a player of games from Source Engines or Source Engine Singular, uh, the bunny hop strats. We just bunny hop. It's jumping I makes don't... you faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that bunny hops actually work. No, I, I, it's. It's a, um, it was a quirk effect. of their, and yeah, and then they, um, you know, they implemented it on purpose. So there's also that big, uh, pyramid that I still didn't go to. It was pretty close to where we were, I think. No, never, uh, uh it's a little bit. There's going to be more than one, I think. Oh yeah. That like giant mound corks. Oh yeah. Corkscrew. That's the term we were looking for. I'm seeing a pit in the ground. Why don't you go down there, Pete? Also, I don't know if you noticed, there's, there's more stuff on top of servers in a couple of different places. Uh, yeah, like the the haste, haste abilities. Right, so Maybe. I'm trying to encourage people to climb on top of things like in Crackdown, you know? Oh, for sure, yeah. Let me just equip. I would like, do I have a good aimbot? Mm, or better gets fish. 9, 10, 11, 11. 11, 11 might be the winner here. Jig, I am not intending to add uh, strafe running where you go faster because you're moving in two different directions. <laughs> um, that's, like, it's actually... Oh, gosh. I guess it's easy to code that if I wanted to, but, like, why? Oh, gosh. Oh, like, gosh. That, that's just adding a skill cap to the game when there doesn't need to be. Fall damage! Just kidding. <laughs> so, fun <laughs> fact, um, uh. since I didn't just, just jump, uh, didn't jump that second time, it still let me jump, like, way down here. Yeah, so that's one of the things I actually had to specifically implement was that, like, you can, if you fall off of something while only jumping once, you can actually jump twice on the way down. Oh, look at this fun stuff. I'm going to go check out this shop. I'm not touching any of these. You can't fool me. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, can I even use any of these item levels? So I'm seeing item level, and that's not the level that I need to be to use it? Right. So item level is 10 above the level requirements. Okay. Well, so that would be item level 1 then for this electric slide. Oh, there's level a double jump. Yeah, if you look in the top left there, there's the higher level items. So like your highest level server hacked um, should be the highest level item in a shop, um, unless the shop is lower level, at which point um, the items can only go up to yep, shop so, level. So high server, high. high server hack for me is 11. And then these are all 11 over here. 
Let's go and buy that real quick. Oh, I, okay. oh, I need the EMPs too. Um, so mine's 16, which means I need to let you do some of the hacking. <laughs> so I have to double jump. Oh, but it still is only a double jump. Right, you have to get the unique item for it to be a triple jump. However, these probably have a lot higher jump height. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, clearing buildings from or rooftops from rooftops. Yep, yeah, look at you go. <laughs> look at the shape yeah, of this that, building. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird one, right? So these are actually ones I did not generate by hand. Um, some of them I did by hand, but not these. So I was able to reuse a lot of my old procedural code in order to make some of the... So this area is cut. Oh. Now I got to do it again. So this area yeah. is still a, a bit randomized. It, it's randomized in the sense of I use, yeah, I use the procedural generation code to just build some generic ones, and then I can come in and edit them later if I want to. Cool. Um, oh, and I don't know if you know, so like the world isn't random, but the color of the servers and like what, what kind of server they are in terms of like what enemies they spawn that's different okay okay each time you jack in um and then i'm going to be adding a different loot table for each different type of server Ooh, so you can get certain you know like a rocket launcher out of this one or a uh, plasma ball or shotgun sniper yeah that sort of thing oh, oh. <laughs> I, I forgot where we were and i was looking at the the shop that we hacked and I was like, oh my god, it's a mini finality. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Not quite. Okay, I'm closing in on that. Yeah, this one building just standing out here by itself. On this uh, little pyramid type. Uh... Yeah, so you got all these, these little fun playground areas now, which is, I think that's kind of cool. Um, and I am also noticing up here... Or I guess, uh, what do you call it? The rim out here? Yeah. There's a lot less, or if any, there's no angled buildings up here. Just the, the grid-like formation. Oh, you mean the ones that were angled sideways down in the... Yep, like, a, like the 45 Or down meters. in the valley? Yep. Yeah, so those actually I manually placed. The other ones are always going to be on the grid. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a reason for that other than to make it interesting. Okay, so it's just... Okay. I just thought maybe you, you forgot about the rest of the map or something. <laughs> Feeling left out. And I do I did notice that the hack radiuses feel a lot larger now. Yeah, uh, because you can jump around and climb on things, and it's fun to do that, I wanted to give you yes. the ability to do that. It is definitely fun. If you guys have not checked out this game yet, we should put a link in the description, which I oh, was going to enter a command so you can just type in black, uh, like a exclamation black ice, and you can just get a link straight to the scene page or the itch page either or i'll let you decide which uh link you would like in the uh stream here later on well yeah you can get either one i'll just do the steam one because most people are comfortable with steam yes i i would agree with that i mean there's nothing wrong with itch i'll just say that there's nothing wrong with it oh it's just fantastic and i actually get more money from itch than i do from steam that's why i bring it up <laughs> I know these things. Uh, I think you're still over here, right? Yeah, you're you're over here hacking by yourself, aren't you? Or are you just kind of chilling out over there? I mean, I'm sending links now, so... Oh, getting the links! So if you guys have not checked out the game yet, uh, there's a Steam link. And if you are just tuning in, we are chatting with Garrett Cooper, the developer of Black Ice. Kind of checking out the multiplayer, uh, the new map. No longer the procedurally generated. So it's it's familiar. Your aimbot just launched me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he trying to climb the building you were on or something? Uh, maybe. I think I just walked into him or something there. Um, so the game is familiar, but it's new now that you have the um, purposely placed servers and the layout and this multi-level area, which I still think is awesome. Still haven't gotten a thorn yet. Oh, man. None of the shops had any items with thorns in them? Um, let me just look through again. Is it going to be a certain color text by chance? 
And is it actually called Thorn? Uh, it's called Damage Returned. <laughs> damage Returned? Okay. Oh, there's Damage Reduced. Uh, close. We're closer. Yeah, Damage Reduction would be a good stat for you to get as well. Damage Reduction. Good stat. Oh, okay. Yeah, Damage Reduction. Let me, oh, let me swap out this Gray Hat mod chip that I have because I don't think it does much for me. Ram Regen. Yeah, we'll get rid of that and then we'll get... Damage Reflect? That's the one. That's what I was talking about. Cool. Got it. I, for, I changed the name. Yeah, because Reflect makes is a little easier to understand than right. Return. Yeah, Return, I guess that could be kind of confusing. Uh, Blivet Widget, thanks for that compliment. Uh, if, you, if you are a fan of the game and you haven't played this latest update, Garrett's hacking over here. Oh, okay. Or you're just not going to tell me about this the, the super fun jump pad? <laughs> Yeah, there's there's one jump pad on the map right now. It's kind of a test. It it looks like it's working. What if one of our minions was placed on it? Uh, enemies can't use jump pads right now. Well, they're not enemies. They're minions. They're friends. <laughs> well, sure. The AI <laughs> can't use them. These are a little high for us. Uh, a little bit. Up. Just a little bit. Let's. Oh, look at this little tiny one. Look the ski this... lodge. Blivet is the um, is the server that is on the rim, the the, uh, the level ten one that you have to get through. Yeah, I'm, I'm staring at it here right now. I can go, I'll go walk through it again. It is like it's it's a little daunting, but it's awesome. Um, we did have quite a fun time getting through this building. <laughs> oh hey Pete, now that you ha we have higher level jumps, we can probably go up to the second level in finality if you want. Ooh. So this room's all black and white now because we did defeat it. But you get locked in. Uh, Garrett died, so he got stuck outside, and I had to brave it. Oh, sure. Bring that up, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. I, I think we were a little underleveled for that. But it was uh, it was good fun. The gatekeeper. I guess that's a good way to put it. So I, I do enjoy the fact that finality is way up here all by itself, and it's this long path that you have to take. Yeah, so I made the path extra long there just so that it feels even crazier. Like, as you're walking out there, you're like, oh, it's not that big. And then you're like, wait a minute. So <laughs> I'm still walking. I noticed with my sprint, I actually, or maybe I'm just making this up. I feel like I launched off when I was running up. Nope, never mind. Yeah. So yeah, there is a little bit of a physics thing, which um, I like in that if you are, if you hit a ramp as you are going fast enough, you'll kind of keep going with your momentum. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're doing something. Finality. If you have not seen this room yet, it is the most ridiculous thing in the game. Yep, okay, yeah. I made it up. Level 2. I, di I didn't want it to be just white on the inside because that's what hack servers look like, so... No, uh, no flavor text on uh, the finality? No, because it's, it's mysterious. It's finality, you know. I feel like I'm living in a CD-ROM right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If I spin fast enough, maybe the uh, we'll get that effect. Uh, we won't do that. Um, I, oh, that's weird. Who locked us in, Pete? I was just going to say, I'm like, hey, what's this pad over here? Oh, we're going. This is real. This is real time. I'm going to be jumping around everywhere. <laughs> I, I was going to oh. do it. Hey, don't feel bad. I was going to do it, too. <laughs> They're so fast! I'm dead! Oh, I'm so yeah. dead! <laughs> oh god, they set me on fire. They set you on dead, is what they should- my Oh healing. my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I actually- So, Finality and the other arena server have, uh, like, their own unique spawn waves. Um, and I actually had to nerf Finality, because it was too hard before, but- <laughs> I suppose we're. All, I, well, I I guess I'm level ten. I don't know about you. I think you're eleven now. Oh, I'm almost eleven, but there's no way I'm killing anything in no, here with no. three thousand HP. Just, I, I'm just doing circuits, trying to stay alive. Just get a colorizer. I'm gonna try to hack as many things as I can down here. These are low levels, uh, all below me. Kill. So. so now that okay, now that we're in multiplayer, it was your hack. Is finality now a higher difficulty for me? No, because finality can't 
level up, but neither can the other server. Um, okay. And servers can't level up off of you unless you're within like 10 levels of them anyway. Okay, so here's, I guess here's my other question uh, for the multiplayer. With, if I'm hacking all of these and you die and I don't complete them, does the difficulty go up for you? Or do, yes. do we both have to die for the difficulty? Uh, either one of us. Okay, so it's not uh, fully dependent on the the entire hack going awry. Right. Okay, I got a few items there. They're probably all not good. But we'll check anyway. My inventory's full. Um, I'm noticing that there's five empty spaces down here in the last row. Is there something to that, or is that just because nope. you changed the that's, UI? <laughs> that's just part of the UI being new. Okay. Yeah. I, I kinda... would go and sell that stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm full up here. Big bada boom! Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't need that. Let's go uh, Akihabara Gold Standard. I like it, but it doesn't have any damage reflected. And I like my minions. So buildings, there's more shapes now if you are new to the game. Or new to the latest version. This is the in-dev, so there are some things here that you might not see elsewhere. But for the yeah, most part, although considering how solid this has been, there's only been a couple of little things. I'm probably going to put this up on live here in a second after the stream. Ooh. So you guys get ready for that one. Get uh, get your keyboards a clacking. <laughs> yeah, like it'll have the shop changes that people have been talking about. And then um, because it was a little bit unforgiving. <laughs> I just went back to the hack uh, shop to try to sell things. Oh, yeah, you might want to just teleport to me. Remember, you can do that. Uh, yep, uh, we will try that here real quick. Uh, is it just slash TP? No, no, no. Just hold tab and then click my name, which oh, I realize man, now I could have gotten into the, the arena server. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could have. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's okay. Well, you did great, Pete. Let me just say that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think I held up fairly well there. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell a bunch of stuff here. And I died, so, um, is there, I forget, there's a formula for how much, how many bit creds you lose, right? It's, uh, it's like 25%. 25%? Okay. I want that one back, actually. Now, if this is all stuff I should be selling or not, I'm not fully sure, but that's completely fine with me. Okay. If, uh, I guess if any of the viewers had some questions, you guys are more than welcome to ask. Uh, type them out in chat, and then uh, if we catch them here, we'll read them and see if Garrett can get us an answer. I refuse. N no questions. <laughs> no more questions? Oh, goodness. Never mind. <laughs> I was at Subway today and I um, I was like, oh yeah, can I get a six inch nine grain wheat? And the guy just immediately was just like, uh, we're actually out of six inch bread right now. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I just immediately, like instinctively just, oh no. And then I realized, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew what he said, so it wasn't a bad thing. And I can't... Can't unequip hacking. Oh, here's a different song. Oh, and this is a level 13. This will be the highest building I've had. Oh, yeah. We can get you, like, a 16-ish. Listen to that music. Oh, hey-o. I'm missing all of those shots. Oh, if knockback would only let me knock some of these enemies off the map. Uh, it should? Also, I have to run away for a bit. I'm really bad at managing my health. I also have three level ups to use. Oh, which includes my first perk. Health, maybe? Perks are completely separate from uh, talent points, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, yeah, you, is it, it's 10, 5, or 10, 15, 20, so on? Uh, 10, 20, and 30. 10, 20, 30, so every 10 levels, okay. Oh, you going 
down. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> now, where did this item drop? See, I, I still have to get used to that with uh, the, the server staying in place. And then just kind of figure it out. Uh, maybe what you could do is you could have the items drop where the doors are, like the information. Yeah, people have mentioned that. That You're, you're probably right about that. Well, I think, uh, yeah, there we go. Heal, heal. Okay, yeah, well, uh, well, I'm healed now, so let's go in, uh, weapon damage, and I do have the, uh, damage returned, or reflected. Oh, nice. Uh, go to, go to the shop real quick. So, if you got the perk for damage reflected, um, and then you have some damage reflect on your person, and then you go to the shop, it'll actually show you, like, so that, that right side of the screen there should have, uh, Damage uh, reflect 15. on it, but it does Okay. That's that's not bad. I mean, how much do you have on your items, though? Probably, like, three. Uh, let's see here. Damage reduced by 7%. Damage reduced by 9%. Damage reflect 7. Okay. And that's it. Wait, did you get... Did, you didn't get the perk, then, did you? No, I, uh, I have not done that yet. It still says that I have one level up. Oh, that's probably the perk point. Yep. Yes. So, which one am I looking to get here? Natural or neural feedback? Yes. So, I, this is the first time I remember seeing the perks last time. I didn't get to use them. Um, this is cool. I think perks are awesome. That's especially now that you've reduced the number of talents that are available. I do miss the uh, RAM regen speed. Yeah, so I mean, you get a little bit of that from stats. Yep. Or yep. from leveling up, just straight up leveling up. Uh, one of the things that you can't see is that you actually also get um, 5% damage, weapon damage, as you level up as well from every level. So I um, have uh, damage reflect now of 78.75. Nice. That's a good chunk of damage. I'm also noticing that my XP is increased by 30%. I don't know what that's from. Oh, it might be that from an item. No, that's actually just from us being in multiplayer. Oh, uh, more players, more XP bonus, or? Yep. Cool. Um, neural feedback and reflect damage is amazing. Yeah, PSA. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to stand in this corner and do one of these and do one of those. And no one's going to be able to touch me. Where did my dudes go? Oh, they're above I'll me. I'm trying to leave this corporations alive so that you can kill them just with yep. feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cloaked pop-up running around. I also just killed my minions. And I, I love the keyboard RGB. Nice. I'm glad you have one that works for it. So if you guys didn't see there with the Scorporation. Scorporation. Let me try to get out in the open and show you guys here. I don't think we... Oh, I missed. I'm really bad with some of these shots. Especially for the aimbots because they have such a tiny little hitbox. Up close, you get the legs. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. You can actually hit their legs almost all the way down. I picked up a bouncy ball. Let's, uh, let me find one here with the. Is there any Scorporation dedicated buildings? No, but certain colors will have more. Um, all right, let me think. I want to say, uh, orange ish. Orangey, uh... Finality let's... summons one each wave if you want to go in there. But... <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, uh, here's like an orangey-ish one here, this nano core. No uh, let's do it. I'll help. Okay. This is going to be pretty tough. But I don't know if you noticed, one. it's a linked one as well. Yes, I was going to say there's also the blue one attached to it. I still got my color eyes, so hopefully that'll help here a little bit. Um, I, I, I think I could go for a bigger AOE on the, uh, on the sniper rocket launchers, personally. I do love AOE damage. I am, obviously, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm not the most accurate shot. Uh, it's been a while since I played oh, Sky Try turning on the, um, the mouse aim assist. Oh, no. Oh, went out. I'm back. I mean, I'm not that bad, but... <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty light touch, honestly. 
I think some of it is just I'm, I'm trying to trail enemies or lead them, but I just end up shooting um, or where they were instead of where they're going. Yeah, some of the projectiles are a little slow. Yeah, you could, I mean, if you wanted to open the talents up again, you projectile speeds you could increase. Oh my gosh! I'm fine, I'm fine. This is okay. Four enemies left, we can do this. Three, here's one. There's one over there. I'm gonna go up here for a bit. I'm just gonna hop from building to building. This guy still has 800 damage left. So... He's trying to climb. He's trying to climb. There we go. There's a level up. And we did it. Nice. Look at that. Woo! What level was that? Uh, 16, 16, I think. Yeah, there we go. Shops are going to be hopping now for me. Woo! That was, uh, that was invigorating. Get all snipers home in for your next perk. I mean, it's worked, uh, has been worked on a fair bit. It's a lot better now. Yeah. Oh, actually, Pete, there's a couple of new visual options, too. Oh, okay. Uh, in the menu here? Yeah. So here we go. Skip intro video. Okay, there's that. Uh, uh, video options, or let's look at the control options here. So we got mouse aim assist. Yeah, try that. And then try, under video options, try turning the CRT mode on and then turn motion blur all the way up. Trust me, you don't have to keep it on. Just try that. Mm. That fish eye, though. Let me tell you. I thought that was an aimbot next to me. It was just my oh. wrist. <laughs> and you can turn the bloom up, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. The motion blur looks a little different on your computer than it does on mine. That's interesting. Uh, bloom. Yeah. Screen shake no longer has the jello huh. option. Game kid mode. Uh, photosensitive mode. Whoa. Yeah, you probably want to turn that motion blur back off. So Okay, yeah. visually speaking, this is very pleasing to look at. And I'm kind of uh, disappointed I'm not playing this on the three monitors stretch. If you remember that screenshot forever ago. Yeah, yeah. How cool that looked. Uh, if you guys get, get a chance to play this across three monitors, uh, shut the lights off and just... You're, yeah, you're going to be blown away, <laughs> to put it lightly. Let's, uh... Oh, wow, there's a giant jump between one motion blur and zero. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, zero is, is motion blur off. Your Apparently, some computers, the motion blur just looks very strange on, and I don't know why. <laughs> now I'm looking through a fish eye. I turn up the... <laughs> Feel the view. <laughs> oh, man. So there's lots of fun options in here, obviously. Uh, turn off that CRT mode and then turn on that motion blur again. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, it, it looks significantly different on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't, I don't have Unity installed? I don't know. Like, No, that can't be it. <laughs> that can't be it. You, know, uh, you never know. CRT mode and photosensitive mode is a pretty great combo. I, I did see, yeah, that photosensitive mode was pretty cool looking. Oh, I'm in a, I'm still in motion blur. Oh, what is happening? Are you shooting stuff? Okay, you are. Uh, it's a dark server, so. Oh, goodness. Let's turn off motion blur. Turn on CRT mode. Oh, my gosh. Is, are we in reboot? <laughs> pretty much. Are my minions still exist? Oh, I can actually see the... Uh, the cloaked enemy is a lot easier now. With uh, photosensitive on. Yeah, they are a little easier to see, aren't they? Oh, wow. I think I hit crits there for 380. Yeah, dude, you're doing way more damage than I am. And these are still items that I found, like, forever ago. Like, this, is, this isn't anything new. Oh, I almost died. Let me tank. Let me tank. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You've got your your thorns on. Like, have you noticed it wrecking things? Oh, oh, there were some glitches on my screen there. That was kind of cool. 
Yeah, when you take the image, that's what that glitch effect is. I wish there was like a wall that's... run. Do you though? I don't know. I... Mm. Not, I mean, just like in the one instance that I was using it there. It'd be kind of cool. Um, I've, I'm not dead. We did it, man. I'm not dead. Let me, let me turn off these modes. There's, oh my gosh. Game kid mode activated. <laughs> Where's my contrast button? Oh my gosh. I'm going to make this game look ridiculously disgusting looking. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you have Game Kid mode on, turn the bloom off and Oh, I forgot I had the bloom <laughs> on. We'll leave the bloom on, but we'll just we'll go back to uh to normal normal bits there. Uh what did I pick up there? I don't even remember what I picked up there. 103 field of view. I just changed that. I literally just said it. Is that high? Is that low? I don't know. Default is 80. It's not super high. Isn't like 110 like Quake or something? <laughs> or was yeah, was it Quake that had a really high field of view? I don't remember off the top of my head. Didn't there actually used to be a Quake mode in this game? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can turn the field of view up to 120, which I think yeah. this is high. Quake game ever was. Although, I'm sure you can turn it up. You want to try this 18? It's a swarm server. You've got a rocket launcher. And I'm going to equip a mine. You mean this one? Y y yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I wish I had mines. Or EMPs. That would be cool, too. I have both. Let's see. I'm getting blasted around, and I love it. This field of view, the bloom on. The game just looks... It's visually pleasing. We're doing it. We are we are certainly doing this right now. Woo! Now, um I don't know how you'd work it in, but have you ever thought about adding like a Steam workshop? Yeah, um so the current mod system I could probably I almost fell off the side edit to do Steam Workshop. <laughs> yeah, that would be I guess you could teleport back to me in a multiplayer game, it wouldn't be too bad. Oh, not dying, not dying, not dying, not dying, not dying. Four enemies left. No! <laughs> no, what? What hit me? Oh, I'm Garrett, mine, you just team, I think. You just team we killed. were so close. You just team killed me, Garrett. Don't lie. Yep, You're that happy. was it. I team killed you. <laughs> Whoops, just turn off the H the, the H U D off the hood yeah i don't mind a, a little bit higher field of view if i can see more you know what i mean oh hey tax finally here tack welcome to the stream uh we've been chatting with garrett here you obviously know who that is you know all of this um and i would like to thank everyone for tuning in hopefully this is giving you some insight into the game if you haven't heard of it before uh or if you have heard of it and you just haven't seen it in a while it's definitely Way, 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 way different than it used to be. <laughs> Why am I running? I can just teleport to you. Yes, the the game is no longer flat. That's now level 21. Yeah, we have to act something different now. <laughs> um, I, sh I really should get an EMP or a mine. I miss mine jumps. That was like the favorite thing. Back, <laughs> it's too back. easy, too easy oh to my. fly with that. Oh yeah, let me just climb to the top of finality here. Not a problem. Literally just use them as an elevator. Here's some linked uh, or allied, some allied corporations, both level 14s. Do I still have I'm some down. bloom on? I think I do. Yes, I do. The bloom looks so good though. Uh, let me make sure I turn on my rest and my minions there. Thanks for coming, Blivet. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I like jumping over a crowd of enemies and then double jumping over to the next building after I've dropped a mine. 
This corporation refuses to attack me. Uh, are other things hitting him? Uh, no, he was just kind of chilling there. Here, hit me, hit me. This gets fish is trying to mess with me here. Some health return, is that an option? No. Or like a like a lifesteal, I guess, or I don't know how you'd call that. One could be damage, well, I guess damage return could be a health. Yeah, I might do like health on crit. Uh, something like that would be fun. Uh, either, yeah, like, if I'm, if I'm hitting, I have 47 health. Okay, there's that guy. You got the last one over there. It's an aimbot. Or you, oh, whoa, hey, what are you, what are you doing here? That was my EMP. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, there it is. So there's the item drop right there. Um, I do have another talent point 80% weapon damage if we go back to that shop it's still over here right now I've had this since before steam green light yeah oh man it's good stuff damage reflect uh, 83.9 repeating of good, course good stuff I'm, uh, earlier you had mentioned that you don't have any set dates for some of the things that we were talking about, like, um, hey, here we go, uh, set dates for, like, the, the story mode that Nana Decimal is working on, and I actually, personally, I think that's a good idea, because then you don't get people, you know, freaking out at you that, hey, you know, this isn't out the exact minute that you said it was going to be. Uh, but you are obviously working on this game constantly. Uh, I'm in the Discord. Yeah, probably too much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm in the Discord, and you're like, yep, working on a new patch. Uh, five minutes later, you're like, yep, working on this other patch. All right, working on this patch, working on this yeah, patch. Yeah, I did two patches yesterday. <laughs> oh, my Provided. gosh. Whoops. Yeah. Omnigate Hardware Incorporated. So, uh... I mean, it, it is kind of a, you know, it's like, oh, man, like, well, how am I supposed to know when you're updating the game or if you ever will? But you literally stayed on top of it. So uh, if people watching, if you guys are thrown off by that uh, notion, don't be. This game is literally constantly updated. Uh, have you been keeping up on, like, the Steam uh, store page? <laughs> Listing the updates there? I guess I haven't looked in a while. Well, I mean, I post in the forums, and I've done the... Um, so, actually, I have a thread in the forums now that you can subscribe to, and whenever I do a major patch, I post in there, and then I list all the minor patches as edits. Edits, okay. So, so if there's always something going on. Which is awesome. Right. Oh, I'm just going to go under the bridge here. Uh, Scorporation, or I'm sorry, an aimbot just walked through a ramp here. Oh, did he? That's not cool. Yeah, I was on Which the bottom, way? I was on the bottom okay. side, and he came through this way. Huh. There might be a path in here. Breaking game, breaking game, did it, did it. Breaking game, breaking game, did it, did it. Okay, you just had an aimbot there with... Oh, that's their jetpack, isn't it? Yeah, they've got a little... The, the, the red rings? Yeah. I guess I just hadn't seen that yet tonight. I was like, I, I thought it was there. I just don't remember seeing it. Uh, are my guys gone? Am I just not noticing uh, minions? Uh, the, no. the hot bar? The hot bar, yeah, the little icon, or the little like trace thing that used to show you whether they were alive or dead is not in the current UI, but it will be later. Okay, yeah, it's it's in progress right now. Valentine's yeah. love beam. Oh, you found that you found two uniques. I found in. Uh, well, I also put some talent points into luck. Uh, that's not a thing you can do anymore. <laughs> 
I've, I've equipped all of my talent points into the loot. Loot find. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's put a point into the hell there. Um, so, I'm seeing that there's little blocks that follow this gun around now. So I can write stuff in the sky. But if I let go, they disappear. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else is unique on this, uh, the Valentine's Love Beam? It sets people on fire. Ooh. Oh, I just hacked a link. Whoopsies. But everyone's going to be on fire now, so it's fine. Raking in a lot of damage, actually, right now. This this feels like it does a lot of, a lot of work. Nice. So one of the things I did in this latest patch is that items that drop will have more unique or sorry, more loot find on them than they used to because it's no longer a, a talent. And same thing with attack speed. Um, might need more. More more loot find? Yeah, everybody loves loot find. Who, yeah, who doesn't? Okay, I'm getting... I guess they just alter the base stats. This building just turned red. Does that mean that the enemies from that one are now gone? Oh, never mind. It's a swarm server. Uh, <laughs> yep, all right. That'll do I don't know. I'm playing in uh, photosensitive CRT mode, so I don't really know what's oh going on. Oh, gosh. Oh, finally, I got a uni. Hey, what'd you get? I got a Pete. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was yeah. wondering if we would see it tonight. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh man, you know what's really fun with this? Here, come here, we'll jump back down. We'll come back up in a second. Yep, Check yep. This. Yeah, that's that's correct, Jig. Oh, uh, down below? Yeah, I'm in the tunnels right here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want a light show, this is this is the place to be. For sure. Now I'm noticing that uh, this las gun now turns some of this fog white, or actually all of the fog white. Oh, does it have a white light on it instead of a red light? That's interesting. Uh, yeah, let me... I guess yeah. You can you can check out the stream there. Eh? Ooh, good stuff. I love this room. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Aimbot got me there. Oh. Yeah, I need more underground sort of areas. Tight, tight, little close in areas. You know, not big open areas. So I can stand on this ramp. Yeah, there you go. I was hoping to get it more underneath. These are also like level five buildings, so. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. Whoops, melting. There's like a whole slew of enemies still upstairs. So I guess I'll go stand upstairs for a little bit. As fun as that uh, lower area was. There we go. More loot I don't need. Oh, the disco death ball. Yes. Um. What else can we do on this one? I was gonna say uh, we could spawn in some uh, dodgeballs. Are the dodgeballs? The dodgeballs are still here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. And we could toss them across the map. Oh, I suppose. No. Do they have a range? I forget. I forget how that one works. Uh, I don't think they have a maximum range. Yeah, those, like you can those just roll, you, right? You can recall them. Yeah. Yes. But it, it, yeah. But if you don't recall them, you you don't have a cooldown on it. Look at those hacking low-level buildings. Acting like we're special. <laughs> oh, okay. The cheats aren't going to work because I'm playing it on Steam instead of in the editor. So, sorry. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I could leave the game, do a cheat, and come back. But... Oh, yeah. I uh, We had a buddy that would do that for Terraria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. It's like, oh, let me go uh, grab this one thing for my totally legit account, and then he'd come back with just like the craziest pieces of armor and weapons and stuff. Sounds like what Tack does, except he comes back with items that he's hacked in his inventory. 
Yeah. Like doesn't he, doesn't even transfer oh, like there was a yeah. there was an orange item over here. Oh, it doesn't even transfer them to a to a not hacked account or not cheater mark. Well, I mean, it could, but like there are some um, attributes on weapons that it doesn't um, send over in multiplayer because they don't vary normally. <laughs> but he changed them, and so it didn't work. <laughs> like all the projectiles' movement speed is the same for every projectile that's the same like type. Okay. Like, missiles always move at the same speed if they're coming out of a sniper rifle, for instance. Oh, darn it. I thought I could... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Is this possible to scale this corner? And may I ask why this corner is cut out instead of just, like, a straight-up straight, straight up corner? Because uh, I was lazy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, I would think I just a straight-up corner would be easier than that little slant. Yeah, I was just trying to make things look different. Oh, that's true. That's true. I thought maybe I could uh, scale it there. I was close. It's. I think it's too vertical. There we go. I'm just gonna hack all the things. Do I have a level up? No, I do not. Okay. Well, we are nearing uh, the end of uh, our allotted interview time here with the spotlight and all that. Do you want to open up the channel so people can join in and we'll see if we can break something? <laughs> yeah, if people. if people want to join, um, if you want to go ahead and post the uh, the super duper secret password. Our password is super GC with this S and the GC capitalized. I'll put it in the chat. Our caps, uh, our caps mattering? Our caps mattering? What the heck am I saying? I saying? think so. My keyboard is flashing orange because that's the color of the server. And I am having a great time right now. <laughs> it's it's what you wanted, right, Pete? <laughs> yes, this is what I've always wanted in my life. The thing I never knew I needed. <laughs> Hacking an orange server. Uh, I guess there there is one question that I was talking about earlier that I wanted to ask. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, bolt action jacked in. The ice has strengthened. Um, now, obviously, you are working on black ice constantly uh still not at that version 1.0 that you want to get to um are you have you considered any future games yet any other projects that you might like to do oh my gosh so i try not to think about that too much i could definitely see if you were working on two games how that could become overwhelming oh yeah no i definitely don't have time for that um but yeah so I don't know, I'd probably do something that is similar to Black Ice, but so I can reuse some of the assets and some of my knowledge. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, like, I don't know, maybe like a roguelike mode or, um, You do a gosh. prequel or a sequel or... Yeah, not necessarily directly like that, like maybe oh. an arena shooter, like where you're actually like playing against other players, like, I don't know. That could be pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I, I you know, because I, I know you've been working on this game's your baby, and it's been your baby for a few years now. Um, yeah, I guess I just didn't know if you if you had any plans uh, on the horizon yet. But uh, you know, I've got a whole document full of ideas that I want to do. Oh yeah, I could see that. Uh, personally, I've never made a full game, and before I even got finished barely starting to work on one he's like oh what if i made a game where i did this or what if I, you know yeah that's how they get you who is this over here is this uh bolt action probably bolt action uh, when i first read that i thought it said bolt action jackson i got really excited nice what's awesome about not being the one on the hack is i can just kind of jump around and just kind of surprise attacks Especially with that mantling. That mantling is by far one of my favorite features um, that I have not seen yet. I can sit there. Oh, wow. They got me pretty good. All right. Give me a second uh -oh. to get back up. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, I got to go out of the hack zone for a second. I just got to go pick up items that I haven't picked up yet. Um, I have two level ups that I can do. Let me. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Put one health and one more into uh, 
damage there. See some disco death balls going on over there. <laughs> this guy's all up yeah. in my face. My minions are gone. I need stronger Oh wait, minions. now that I'm thinking about it. We'll... I think we might be playing this a little bit after, uh, after the stream here. <laughs> <laughs> a little grouping of people. We can always chat in game. Yeah, so clambering is what somebody was calling the the mantling, and I, I've never heard that before. But it, clambering hmm. kind of makes sense. Oh, I can't pick up these items. I'm full up again. No, well, the, the shop's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, look. Oh my gosh, the disco death ball. Yeah, no, but my minions shoot it now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Please get more minions. Try to. Let's see. I mean, I'm, my computer's handling it fine, so. Yeah, talk about trying to break the game. Hold up. Oh, no. And then I've got the particles coming off of all the enemies. And I've got the uh, the Valentine love love blaster. I forget what it's called. I'm sorry. The love beam, yeah. The love beam. i got that going on. So there's a lot of particles flying around everywhere. And then the fire off the enemies on top of all that. <laughs> yeah, so the disco balls that they shoot shoot out significantly less lasers and they've got a pretty long cooldown, but they can still do it. Yeah, that's my favorite. That has been my favorite for some time now. So does everyone else that's in here, do they get to see me as orange then too? Yeah, yeah, you should just be orange. Sick, but only if, if it's this name. Only if you have the name Tira CP. They'll become the most infam infamous name in the Super Mesh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I wonder if, as a group, if we could... Did I go to the right shop? I went to this blue one over here. Uh, I wonder if, as a group, we could go to that uh, underground area and attempt. Oh, man. I don't know if... I'm not strong enough for that. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. I'm just going to start selling a bunch of stuff here. Oh, hey, I got an EMP. An epic EMP. I should be using that. Sell all of this stuff down here. I'm not even paying attention to if it's uh, items I could be using or not. Oh, and then someone's hacking right by me? Or, no, what? Garrett? It depends on which shop you went to. What's going on? I went to this blue shop over here. There's no hacks or anything around it. What's going on over there? Oh, I just... Came out of the shop and there was a an aimbot shooting at me. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. I wonder where he came from. I'm gonna blame tag. Well, there is someone else over here. Oh, that's you, isn't it? Well, yeah, I teleported over to you. Yeah, you see this on the ground there? Yeah. Was it somebody following you from somewhere? I don't know. It might have been. I mean, I did run from a hack, so. So enemies can climb up the edge. So let's see if I can get it going here. Ooh, do I want to use mines or the EMP? Ooh. Ooh, it's so tricky. I can get rid of my... Here, I'm going to I'm gonna move the Sarbama over so I can just drop mines on everybody. So I can just do this. And then just come on in here. <laughs> See me just go flying down there? Yeah, I saw it. I didn't get to set as many mines as I would have liked, but that's okay. I'm setting off my disco ball army down there. <laughs> just watching it from up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many colors everywhere. Oh. Oh, my game just crashed. Uh -oh. Yeah, my game did too. Who do we blame for this? Uh, probably my disco balls. <laughs> they weren't going off on my screen though. Um, so uh, we just, yeah, I don't know what happened. We just uh, we just locked up the game here. I think that might actually be a good spot too. I gotta actually close out of the game. That might actually be a good spot to to end the stream on. Oh, we all did. Okay, according to Tack, we all did. <laughs> Um, well, well, dang. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, that's fine. It's uh, it's about time to end. Um, 
I would like to thank everyone that has tuned in and uh, chatted with us. Garrett, thank you for uh, taking over the stream and uh, talking a little bit about the game. I'm excited for all the future updates, obviously. Oh, it's not well, tax fault this time. <laughs> Let me play, man. It was good coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, for Been sure. excited for this for a while. Uh, once again, Garrett, if you would like to drop your Discord, uh, itch page, Steam page, uh, just so someone has something to click on if they want to pick up the game for themselves, or if they'd like to join uh, the Discord community, which is fairly active almost all day, every day. Uh, if you want to maybe meet up with some other players, get a multiplayer thing going on. Yeah, we, we all just kind of crashed out there. Yeah, my bad. I'm I'm working on figuring out what it is. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't look like it was the disco balls on my end. Um, oh, yeah. There's something up with health power-ups right now. And then... I don't uh, know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, let, me grab, uh, let me grab one thing here real quick. Grab this, uh, grab that for you. And then, uh, yeah, I think this will be it. We'll play, uh, play a little music and, uh, I'm sure we'll hang out in the chat for just a moment here on Twitch. If you guys would like to chat or obviously click on the, uh, discord link, which by the time that you hear me saying this, that link's already been there for a good <laughs> 20 seconds or so. But I would say that's all I've got. Uh, Gary, do you have any parting words for the people watching tonight? I'll just thanks everyone for coming. I had a great time. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, ended on a positive note here. Obviously, yes, thanks everyone for stopping by. Check out the game if you haven't already. Get in the Discord. Uh, be active in the community. Find Garrett on Twitter. Find everybody on Twitter. Uh, spread some joy. Stay hydrated. And have a good night, everyone. <laughs> Hydration, yep, I gotta do that.